this sheet is currently blank and ready for me to bring in modules for any section of work that I need to quote for. Let's say the client wants a new archway in their existing wall. Simply click the letter A and all the modules beginning with that letter appear. I'll click Archway to bring that into the pricing sheet ready to fill in. The modules are all colour coded so I know straight away which boxes I can enter information into, which I'll explain in the movie section called Understanding the Pricing Sheet. You may want to watch it now and then come back to this movie to continue. The programme needs to know the measurements of the opening which I enter into these red boxes. I'll enter a width of 2.6 linear metres and a height of 2.2. It has now worked everything out for the archway here. I'll bring in another module, this time Boxing. I click on B and then on Boxing. I'll enter a width, height and depth. As you can see, everything is calculated for the boxing automatically from that basic information we have entered. I carry on in this way for every job the client wants me to carry out. If you want to see and select from the complete list of modules, instead of clicking on the relevant letter, click this button. You can then scroll through the entire list and click on the ones you want to include. This is also a good way of viewing the entire list if you are unsure which letter the programme has placed a job under. You can also remove a job you have brought in by clicking on the title and then the Remove Section button. Let's also remove the other section we brought in. So that's how you bring in jobs into the pricing sheet as you go along. You might want to bring in two of the same module. For example, if you are fitting two archways that had different sizes or other options, when you bring in the archway for the second time, the program will remind you to rename the second one, Archway 2 for example. Double click in the title of the module and type a 2 at the end, or whatever you prefer to call it. Now I'll go back to the job details page to show you the other way of bringing in jobs. I'll click the save and start new quote button and this time choose option 1. This displays all the job modules available. I can select the ones I require here and they'll all be brought into the pricing sheet at once rather than bringing in one at a time as you work. You can also remove any you select accidentally. This method does mean though that the modules will be placed in the order you've selected and will add them across to the right. So at this stage it is recommended that you think about the order you will want the quote and the other reports shown in. With option 2 you can specify the order as you bring modules in. See the master copy movie section for more information on this. If you are doing a loft or garage conversion, rather than try to think of every module you might need for it, use this preset job drop down box at the top and the program will select the modules for you. You can edit these preset jobs to include or exclude any modules you think are necessary for loft and garage conversions. Do this in your master copy of the program and it will be set how you prefer every time you use the program. See the movie section for setting up your master copy to find out what other defaults and settings you can change in your main program. You may just want to edit the list of modules for this particular loft conversion you are pricing, in which case you can do this here. For example, if this one does not require any roof lights, we can remove this option from the list for this job I am pricing. If for example, coving was required for the loft conversion, I add this here. Click Save and Continue, which will bring those modules into the pricing sheet, 
ready for me to enter information into. For any other job you are pricing, simply click on the relevant modules you require and click the Add Items button to bring them into the pricing sheet, ready to work on.